Hey guys, what's up? This is Francisco with Valariso Capital. And in today's video, we're going to do the weekend watch list for the week of September 19. And in this uh, weekend watch list, we're gonna, I'm going to share with you five setups that I'm looking for potential bullish setups for next week. So remember, guys, that this video is based on my personal opinion and is not financial advice. So first, let's start with my favorite chart for next week. Uh, the five charts that I'm going to share with you that I have here on, on a screen next to me. Uh, are all to the long side. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is SLB. And a great way to trade SLB, uh, the way that I do it, I trade it with the leverage ETF, which, which is AGQ. So this is a 2X leverage ETF. And I think it's a great way to trade this setup. But I usually do all my analysis using the, the, main, the, the main trading vehicle for silver, which is SLB. So uh, for anyone who's new to the channel, I have two indicators on my screen. The indicator on the bottom is the TTM squeeze and the indicator on the top is the trend oscillator developed by Sam James and the TTM squeeze was developed by John Carter. Now the lines that I have on my chart, these vertical lines are basically buy signals that, that get triggered when the trend oscillator does certain, uh, certain type of movements. And then uh, what I basically do my trading, right? The, the, the analysis that I use for my trading, I use, I use market structure, which means that I'm gonna be looking at major swings. And then I also do a lot of Fibonacci analysis mostly using the 0618 retracement and then the one point, the 1.272 extension and the 1618 extension. So first of all, let's take a look at SLV here. As you can see, SLV actually undercutted this low right here, as you can see by price. But what is, what is actually very interesting in SLV is that we actually made a lower low in price. However, we made a higher high on the trend oscillator, which is a momentum oscillator. When I see these type of divergences in the between price and momentum, I always add them to my watch list. Now, this doesn't mean that just because you have a, a divergence in price that you actually buy it, even though sometimes it might result in a really good trade. I always look for confirmation, right? And the confirmation that I'm gonna be look that I'm gonna be looking for is gonna be a reclaim of this level right here. So as soon as we actually got the got the reclaim, meaning that price move above that level, then this one gets on my chart. Why? Because we already have a momentum divergence, which means that there is a high probability that anyone who chased this move to the downside is actually trapped. So this is what many people call, call a bear trap, meaning that all the people that shorted this are now getting a squeeze. And that's what, what we are seeing in SLB. Now, what is the setup here? The setup is actually pretty simple. We have this, uh, the moment that we move above 1791 means that we recover bullish structure. And most importantly, the moment that we move above 17, 17, 1732 means that all the people that shorted be below that level are now trapped, meaning that there's a high probability that we will continue to move to the, to the upside. What I like about this setup is that we actually have a momentum in the TTM squeeze that is moving higher. And also the trend oscillator, which is the momentum oscillator is above the green line, is above the EMA, that and, and you can see in the chart that it turns green when that happens. And you can also see that the trend oscillator is above the 50 line. So as soon as I get that signal, I see that there is more momentum to the upside that, than to the downside. And we have more chance of continuing this move to the upside. Now, what happened on Friday is really important because we actually got below price. We took out the, the low of this of this candle right here. However, the eight exponential moving average, which is the which is the orange line right here held and the moment that the that the trend oscillator that the moment that the eight exponential moving average acted as a support you can see that price respected that ema and we actually close above 1791 at the moment that we close above 1791 means that we recover bullish structure and the probability of, of us continuing higher is actually pretty pretty high so what is going to be the stop for this for this setup the stop is pretty simple as soon as you get a strong date like this you use the low of that candle as your stop and then you're going to be looking for major extensions as your target the extension that i'm using right now you can see measure from this swing high to this swing low right here that's the 1272 extension that acted as resistance as you can see in this candle right here now i'm going to be using that same extension as, as my target, I'm not, and I'm gonna be looking for a move into the next level of extension, which is the 1618 in my chart right here, which is which are these purple lines 
at these levels. So that, that's going to be my target. It's actually a pretty simple uh, chart to manage. Momentum is going to the upside. The chart is going to the upside. We maintain bullish structure, and I'm just looking for continuation in that chart. Now, the legs, let me just do something pretty quickly here. Let me just hide the, the quant pivots, which we don't need for the analysis that we're doing at this moment. That way we can have a cleaner setup. Okay, let's go. Now let's move into the next chart that I'm gonna be watching. And this is my favorite, my second favorite chart of the week, and this is Tesla. And what I love about Tesla is that the, the Nasdaq composite, as you can be, as, as, you can, as, you, as most of you already know, the Nasdaq composite continues to move to the downside. And what is actually pretty interesting about Tesla is that Tesla is above the eight exponential moving average, right? And that's actually a pretty strong, uh, that's a pretty strong sign of relative strength in such a big stock as Tesla, because one could expect that Tesla will continue to move lower if it's such a big component of many of the ETFs that trade in the NASDAQ composite and that trade in the SPY. But Tesla has been able to, to keep this, this eight exponential moving average here. Now, now that we have the price technicals in place, let's take a look at the momentum, right? You can see that we have a squeeze that is starting to form to the upside. And we also have a momentum trend oscillator, which is above the 50 line, which is this line right here. And you can see that we are holding that, we're holding that, that EMA, which is the green line right here. So what is going to be the stop and the target for Tesla? I think Tesla, you can trade this as a momentum break trade, which means that you're going to wait for a break above this 303.65 uh, level for a, for a momentum break, targeting the next level of extension extensions, which is somewhere around 325 and above, or you can start to build your position as long as Tesla continues to hold that eight exponential moving average. You can use the low of this day as your stop, or if you wanna give this chart a little bit more, of, more, more room, you can use the low that we actually had on Thursday we actually had on Wednesday as your stop, which is going to be this, 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 this candle that was pretty strong right at that eight exponential moving average. So that is going to give you a, re a really nice risk of reward. And also, as you can see, if we just take a look at Tesla, you can see that we have a cup and that we're starting to, for to form that handle right below that level of 303.65. So this one is looking pretty nice for next week. And then the next name that I'm going to show with you, that I'm going to share with you is EMPH which has been a pretty resilient name in this, in this market. You can see that we have a squeeze, which is the most important signal, one, one of the most important signals for my system. So we have a squeeze that has been, that started to trend to the downside, as you can see in these candles here, but now is recovering to the upside and the momentum is rising. And you can also see that the momentum oscillator respected that 50 line. So it never broke below the 50 line, uh, meaning that the momentum was always positive or was always bullish in this particular name and this particular stock. You can see that the trend oscillator was moving below that EMA, which means that there's a lot of, there's more distribution than accumulation. However, right in this day right here, when we recover the bullish structure above 305.66, you can see that the trend oscillator is above that EMA. And right now it's testing it. And now my expectation is that we're gonna see a bounce in momentum. And therefore we're also gonna see a bounce in the price. So the trade setup here is pretty simple. You can see that we actually had a hammer candle or a, or a bullish outside candle on Friday, holding this 305.66 bullish structure level. And what I'm gonna be looking and what I'm gonna be looking for is a continuation of this move all the way to the 1618 extension, which is 344.49. Measure from this high right here all the way to this swing long to this swing low right here. And that's gonna be the first target for EMPH and you can use the low of Friday as your stop for this particular trade. So this one is looking pretty nice. And then the next name that I'm going to share with you is going to be ARK, A-R-K-K. And a lot of people might see, might think that why are you trading ARK? And what I think that is pretty, pretty interesting is that ARK, when you compare it to the, to the ETF, to the, to the other indexes, such as the Nasdaq Composite, the Dow Jones, the QQQs, and the DIA. What we're seeing here is that ARK didn't undercut the, 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 the low that we have on September 4th. So that is showing to me 
that ARK is outperforming the other ETFs. And if I'm expecting a, a bounce in the market, then I can see ARK as a potential as a potential ETF that is going to be some some that is going to see some short some kind of short squeeze move. Now let's go to the indicators and the indicators we can see that we have a squeeze that is moving to the upside and that we also have momentum which is now testing support, right? You can see that momentum move above the, the green line. And now we're testing that green line, turning red. And I'm going to, my expectation is that we're going to see a bouncing momentum and then therefore we're going to see a bouncing price. Also kind of similar to Tesla. And it should be similar because Tesla is one of the most weighted stocks. In, in ARC, you can see that we also have a cup and we're starting to form that handle right here. And the, the way that I'm going to trade this, which is actually pretty simple, you can get your position filled somewhere around this level of, of, of support, which is 42.73. And you can use this low right here as your stop, which is somewhere around that 0 0.618 retra retracement measure from this swing low to this swing high, which is around 41.85. You can use that level as your, as your stop. And then the target is going to be the extension of the swing that we have right here. And those extensions come, the first one at the 1.272, which is 47.49. And then the second extension comes at 49.67, which is the 1618 extension for this particular trade. And that way you have a, a defined stop and you also have some defined targets. And if Tesla moves to the upside, then most likely we're also going to see ARC following that move in general. And then lastly... And then lastly, the, the, the chart that I'm going to share with you, as I mentioned, I did mention that I, wanna, that I wanted to share with you TLT, but I think, or let me show you with you TLT. This is going to be more kind of an advanced setup for some because it's a, it's, it's a counter trend setup, right? Because we continue and what I, what I mean by counter trend, um, I'm, I'm a swing trader, not exactly a position trader. So I'm only looking to grab a momentum trades or trades that change that change the structure for somewhere around three to five days. And when I when I when I talk about trend, I use the eight exponential moving average, which is the orange line in my charts. Now I do think that we're gonna see a change in trend in in bonds in general. And you can see my market update video in which I explain why I expect why I'm expecting a change in trend in bonds. But kind of in in in, in a summary you can see that we're making lower lows in price, but we are starting to make higher highs in the momentum oscillator. And you can also see that the squeeze is, is also showing some divergences, meaning that the momentum in the squeeze is also moving to the upside. Now, for the for, for this, uh, this change in trends, uh, how do we manage these, these kind of trades, right? When we have, when we're trying to take a, uh, a change in trend trade, what we want to use is we're going to use the, the low of the candle that show the divergence. We're going to use that low as our stop. Meaning that, our, that, that, our, that the stop that we're using for this setup is going to be located below the, the low that we had on, on Tuesday. And then the target is going to be the extension, the Fibonacci extension measured from this swing high to this swing low. And the first extension comes right here at the 1272, which is 110.41. This might not be the most exciting setup, but these setups tends, tend to work pretty nicely. And they're very, very consistent when we have a divergence in momentum, meaning that we have a higher high momentum and a lower high in price. So the, the stop, pretty defined stop and pretty defined target that should give you somewhere around a three to one risk reward if you're able to get your, your if you're able to get your position as close to this low as possible. So with those names, I conclude this, this video, the, 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 the weekend watch this video. If I have to choose one chart for next week, it's going to be SLP. And if I have to choose a second chart, it's going to be Tesla. So I think that you focus on those two charts for next week. I think that I do think that, that, that right now, the <clears throat> right now, the right now, the, the sentiment in the market is super bearish. So if we happen to see some continuation in the market, I think that names like Tesla and EMPH that are showing pretty strong relative strength, they're going to have pretty explosive moves. So keep those in, in your watch list. And most importantly, also make sure to manage risk because anything can happen in the market and we have to be aware of those circumstances as well. And also to keep you, 
also that you keep these these on your on your calendar remember that on wednesday we have the fed meeting and these fed meetings have been have been have shown to us that there there have been some pretty explosive moves after the fed is done with their with their presentations so thank you so much guys for watching remember to like and subscribe that way these 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 analysis can be these analysis can help more traders and also remember to follow me on my Twitter account, which is at Valarizo Capital. And in that account, I always share my, my, my thoughts in the market and I share more ideas and more setups. So make sure to follow me on that social media as well. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and take care. Bye-bye. Peace.